People, back with another one. And today, we're going to look in the mirror. Most of us, we all need to look in the mirror. A lot of times, we neglect ourselves and what the root of the issue is at heart for some of us. So, when you look in the mirror, who do you see in the mirror? That's the first question you ask. And then, is it clear as to who you see in the mirror based on you? You know, your perception of yourself and how others see you. And is that really important how other people see you? So you got to look in the mirror. And you got to know something, some things are out of your control, you know, based off uh, how you see yourself, you know, uh, which we all know, you know, some things are out of our control. But we could change what, what we should, you know, whatever we need to change, we should change with no question. You know, people, circumstances, our health, you know, change is always needed. When you sort out whatever disappointments you, you've experienced, most of the times you got to get to the root of the problem. And a lot of times the root of the problem is you, you know, most times it's always going to be you in a sense of, Whatever needs to be changed. If it's the people in your life that's getting you, you know, not getting you where you want, you got to look at what you're doing and who you're hanging around. That's you. Your circumstances. You know, your health. If you, you know, if you ain't eating right, if you you, you half-ass eating good, and then you just fall off the tracks, and now you can't run this marathon because you, you done ate crappy and the whole nine, that's you. That's something that you have to... You know, you have to deal with, you have to fight with and and look at yourself and know that, yo, because of this, this is my result. This is my end result. And you got to so you got to improve yourself, you know what I'm saying, with, with every experience, uh, whether it's through the struggle, you know, whether it's through accomplishments or whether it's through your failures, you got to improve yourself. And we're looking in the mirror. And getting to the root of that problem is that you always, there's always gains and there's losses, you know. And, you know, what's your gains? You know, being on top of your business, you know, aspiring to who you need to be, what you want to be. You know, like I always say, you know, whether it's in your job, whether it's um, personal fulfillment, that's based on you. Nobody can help you with that. Now, well, nobody can hold your hand for you to do it for yourself. You feel me? Uh not being consumed with how others see us, how they view us. That's something that you have no control over. And that's how I said earlier. That's why I said earlier. You know, some things are out of your control. And just because they see you a certain way doesn't mean that's you. You understand? And you, you got you to gotta get past that. You know what I'm saying? You always got to get past that. You always got to improve yourself. You know, take responsibilities for any mistakes you've you've made. You know, it's a learning experience, you know what I'm saying? You got to learn, you got to learn from your failures. That's part of that's, that's part that's part of your gains. You see? But part of your losses is not being accountable. You know, not taking advantage of opportunities, not being patient and whatever it is, not focusing on your purpose. You know, and at the end, at the start and at the end of the day, it's based on you. You know what I'm saying? What you do is you, you, you. Look at yourself. Look in the mirror. Fix what needs to be fixed. You know, change is needed. You change it. You don't wait around for somebody else to do it for you. You feel me? But it's a short one today. So like, share, subscribe. As usual, y'all be blessed. And I'm out.